Hi, my name is Nico Pina. I'm the owner and chef of Romolo and Remo, a Roman style artisanal tomato sauce company raised in Rome and made in City Heights, San Diego. So what's the problem? Within the tomato sauce market, consumers are increasingly concerned that the products they buy not only taste delicious and meet their nutritional needs, but that the companies they're supporting have ethics in line with their own values. Our solution at Romolo and Remo is we have created a line of tomato sauces that are ethically sourced and environmentally conscious while never compromising on flavor. We address consumer concerns by ensuring that our labels, promotions, and website inform and define who we are, what we stand for, and emphasize our connection to the community. It's just better sauce. We emphasize that we're made locally. We take a strong stance on workers' rights, particularly those of farm workers, and environmental impact. Our recipes never include any added sugars or added preservatives, and we have just launched our Farm to Jar program to emphasize and highlight our producers and be transparent about who we do business with. Market opportunity. Overall, in the United States, it is a rapidly growing billion dollar industry with smaller specialty brands such as my own at the forefront of consumer interest. Within San Diego, we're very lucky to be in a city that loves to support local. We have year round farmers markets and endless specialty stores that have really helped Romolo and Remo gain quick traction around the city. How we make money. Direct to consumers via farmers markets, trade shows, website, social media. And we also wholesale. We're currently in three retailers and are in discussion with the distributor. In the past, also, we have done chef collaborations and menu takeovers at restaurants. Those are always a lot of fun. Some thoughts for the future, implementing a subscription model, but largely we would like to really transition the business from a direct-to-consumer based business to a primarily wholesale based business. Some traction in progress. We've had a really exciting couple of months. I was the graduate of the San Diego Food Justice Get Cooking program, a part of Cohort 2. Really had a chance to expand my network, gain some much needed knowledge, and I got some capital at a very pivotal moment. Shortly afterwards, I was approved by the state of California for my FDA permit, uh, making me an eligible wholesaler, and I gained my first two wholesale accounts and purchased my largest pallet of glass ever. There's me sitting on top of it, very excited. Uh, currently, I'm in a conversation with a distributor, and I'm exploring co-packers as a means to continue my growth. What I've learned at the Jacob Center. Uh, there's a community here that wants to see us succeed, grow, but most importantly, be prepared. Um, working with RG Alliance on my finances was instrumental in preparing me for tax season, something that I've historically been overwhelmed with, and really understanding my own finances and learning how to make sound projections, categorize money in and out, and just overall better financial literacy. Working with Diana has really helped me understand the position I'm in with my business and the steps that I need to take with the capacity that I have now to really grow and meet those desired projections. Some visions for the future, immediate goals is to secure large local retailer accounts, such as Barron's and Sprouts and establish Romolo and Remo as the San Diego sauce. Some three to seven year goals would be federal FDA approval and solidified distribution accounts, uh, stocking shelves of major retailers such as Whole Foods, Costco, Target, and on a national level. Our 10-year goal would definitely be to be a nationally recognized brand. This would kind of give me the opportunity to continue my own entrepreneurial journey while also helping others with their businesses. How will the money help? Uh, Christmas is coming. Uh, our high season is from October to December. So immediately I will duplicate the farmer's market booth so that I can be at two places on once on high profit days. We will hire Yanel for immediate seasonal help there he is there with me uh, early on in the, in, in the business. Um, he will come on every Sunday, October through December. Merchandising and holiday baskets as an alternative uh, stream of revenue and kind of increased customer engagement. And also I need some major kitchen upgrades. We need more stock pots. We need to double the amount that we can produce and we need to double the days that we are producing. Meet our team. I'm Nicolas Sebastian del Judice Piña. I am owner and chef of Romolo and Remo, and I jokingly describe myself as the one-man army. Uh, a little bit about myself, I was born in Chicago. I was raised in Rome with my mother and in Chile with my father and was lucky enough to have three languages in the house. Overall, I really describe Romolo and Remo as a physical and edible iteration of my life experiences. Thank you so much for listening.